Dr. Harith Abdul Qadir is a neurologist and among few specialist doctors in Somalia's recovering health sector. He was among five students that benefited from Chinese government scholarship program in 2011. In his Muktisha clinic, Dr. Harith attends to dozens of cases per day, but he has also heavily involved in training a new generation of medical professionals. 2011, I traveled to China uh, thanks to the Chinese government. They provide me a full scholarship, a neurology scholarship. I traveled to Jilin University in, uh, in the beautiful city of Changchun. Uh, I, I, I studied my neurology program in there. It was three years. Then in 2014, I came back to Somalia where I started uh, uh, my, my practice in there. In our department in neurology, we see around 30 to 40 patients per day. And we, we have uh, student programs in, in our hospital where local doctors can join us in here and learn neurology with us. Uh, around, we have now around four students enrolled with us now. And I usually also travel to the cities outside the capital city of Somalia, Mogadishu. Students graduate from local universities, but before they can receive a full license, they need to pass extensive practical programs under the supervision and guidance of experts like Dr. Harith. Students like Zamzam, who went to school in a university in Mogadishu, say they are benefiting greatly from the system. <laughs> I am a graduate of Benadir Medical University and I'm among trainees under Dr. Harith's mentorship in his clinic since 2021. It is exceptional for me because I want to enhance my knowledge in the field of neurology. Zamzam and others are also able to get familiar with modern healthcare equipment, equipment which has been brought in from China and has the capacity to save lives. Many people still do not know or believe that there is Chinese medical equipment which can be applied in the sector. We have quite a number of them in the country, which is very important. For example, we have two of them here. One is used for hormone analysis and another biochemists use it for liver and kidney tests. So this equipment is becoming very common in our country. During the past few years, Hundreds of Somalis like Dr. Harith, who have benefited from Chinese scholarship programs, have returned home and are now serving their communities in various capacities. With cooperation between Mogadishu and Beijing remaining strong, there are hopes many other sectors can see the same kind of benefits as healthcare. Hamid Kahi, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.